one of the lessons I learned the most, so it's uh, how to win and most important, how to lose and keep my head up to for the next, what's next. And, uh, and one thing also later on in my career, one thing that I, it was, it was very, very helpful for me to learn was to not judge myself, uh, either good or bad. Things sometimes are the way they are. And, uh, you know, a lot of times as an athlete, sometimes you put yourself like you don't hit the times that you, you, you're looking for. And immediately, first thing you say, it's like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm so slow. I'm so, you know, you get caught in those uh, labels mm. that, uh, that uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't push you forward. And then, you know, as a swimmer, we're fighting for, for one one hundred of a second. And sometimes just one thought that crossed your, your mind, it can make a total difference between winning and losing, making or not, or, you know, changing your life or not and uh so definitely not 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 judging was one big thing that 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 he taught me and uh mm -hmm. definitely winning and losing and uh be able to stay humble no matter what you gotta stay humble no matter how it doesn't matter how good you are and you have to stay humble and later on in my career a great lesson that i i learned obviously by getting so much throughout swimming uh, you have to give it back to, and, uh, mm -hmm. you have to, you cannot just keep it all to yourself and be selfish. You have to, I mean, at least that was the, that's the obligation I felt like mm -hmm. towards the end of my career. I felt like I had a, I, I, I had a need to give back. Yeah. 